So how do we perform a warm transfer? As you can imagine, starting with that transfer key. Okay, so you can press it from here or the soft key on underneath the display. Once you press that key, the phone will ask you to dial the extension of the phone number you wish to transfer to, right? So if you know the four digit extension of the person you want to transfer to, let's say Luke is 1234, just type 1234, okay? If it's an external number, right, and you can do warm transfers to external numbers like cell phones, just make sure you dial the full 10 digit phone number just like you can see here, okay? And then when I press send, what does it do? What's the underlying behavior of a warm transfer? Well, it puts Susie on hold, rings Luke, ring, ring, ring. He picks up. I say, hey, Luke, I have Susie on the other line. Are you available to take her call? If he says yes, how do I complete the transfer? I simply use the same key that I used to start the transfer, which is the transfer key. Okay, so a successful warm transfer looks like this. Transfer, in this case, one, two, three, four, send consult with Luke. Hey, Luke, are you available? He says yes. Transfer. Okay, that's a successfully completed transfer. If Luke said no, Luke said, unfortunately, I'm not available at this time, on your screen, one of the soft keys will say cancel. And if you press the cancel key, it'll actually drop the call with Luke. And again, it takes you right back to Susie. And you politely explain to Susie that Luke is not available. Okay, and give her her options. That is a warm transfer. And again, the apps still have the same underlying behavior, and you're definitely going to see that, but it's a much easier interface to work with. What if you need to do a blind transfer? Well, the blind transfer has one minor difference. Um, you still start with the transfer key, but you'll notice at the bottom of the display, there's going to be a blind key right, on your soft key. And if you press it, it will actually toggle on the blind mode, okay? Because by default, it's warm. If we want to use blind for any reason, we press blind. And your screen will actually change as well. It'll say blind transfer to when you press that key instead of transfer to. Transfer to is a warm transfer. Blind transfer to obviously is just a regular blind transfer. And then once you're in that blind mode, the rest is exactly the same. You type the extension of the phone number you wish to transfer to, in this case, 1234 for Luke. Or if it's an external number, just dial the full 10 digit phone number, okay? And then I just press send. But unlike a warm transfer, a blind transfer does not have me consulting with him, so it just sends it on its way, okay? Exactly. Then transfer to voicemail, right? So let's say Susie asks to go straight to his voicemail. How do we perform that? Well, it's exactly like we just described the blind transfer to the T, except the last step, okay? So we're still gonna start by pressing the transfer key. We're still going to press the blind key to switch to blind transfer. Again, it'll say blind transfer two. And then we simply dial his extension, but we're going to specifically put a star zero in front of his this extension um, when we're dialing it, right? So it'll be transfer blind star zero, one, two, three, four. The star zero tells our system, hey, I'm not looking to do a regular blind transfer. I'm actually looking to hit his voicemail. And that's what triggers that to happen, right? The star zero. And as soon as you press send, the first thing Susie's gonna hear is his voicemail, okay? And two minutes later, Luke will have a nice voicemail waiting for him. Again, you can use this as a follow-up from a warm transfer where you start with, a, with a consulting with Luke, seeing if he's available. He's not available, you double back to Susie and then say, hey Susie, unfortunately Luke's not available. Would you like to call back later or perhaps I can transfer you to his voicemail, right? And if she says yes, you basically follow these steps of performing the transfer to voicemail for him, okay? All right, let's get rolling into the Ring Central phone app. We have our transfer options in the bottom left-hand corner. We talked about three transfer types, warm, blind, sent to voicemail. I'll take a look. They're lined up like, like a row of ducks, okay? So you can do the same exact thing. We can type in Luke's name, Simply select his extension and I can warm transfer, also known as consultative transfer, right from here. I can blind transfer right from here or send to voicemail. Again, a warm transfer consults with him. So if I press this, it will put Susie on hold. So definitely let your customers know, hey, do you mind if I see if Luke's available? Sure, cool. Now go and press it and it'll ring Luke exclusively. He picks up and again, two buttons will appear. One will say transfer and one will say cancel. And why are they there? Well, at that point, I'm asking Luke, hey, Luke, are you available to take this call from Susie? And if he says yes, I press transfer. 
If he says no, I say cancel, and what does that do? It drops Luke from the call, takes me right back to my customer, okay? And I can politely explain to Susie, hey, unfortunately, he's not available. Uh, blind, as the name says, blindly sends the call over to Luke, whether he's ready for it or not. And then we have send to voicemail. So this entire process is almost identical on the mobile device, and it should be pretty straightforward, okay?